Yo, what's up? Today we are gonna... Well that just killed his nose. I've been grinding this game non-stop for days. No shower. And bro just got a nice big whiff. Well, today we are going to be obtaining Cursed Dual Katana. And also Soul Guitar. We have a lot to do today, so let's get into it. Which one should we obtain first? Let's obtain Cursed Dual Katana first. Here is what we need to do. While watching the tutorials on Yautub on how to obtain this, most of the videos were very confusing to understand. So if you're still confused too, I'll try to explain it the best I can. First we need Yammer and Tushita, which I have already obtained in the past. So the first part is already done. They are both also over Mastery 400. Now we can start the quest to obtain Cursed Dual Katana. Come to Turtle Mansion and follow where I go. You see that door? Yeah. It is closed. So you need to go around the back. I think this is where you need Yammer and Tushita on Mastery 400 to allow you to speak to the NPC. Now the door is open. Oh look, Brooks Brothers. Bruh. Now there are two scrolls, one for each sword. Let's do Tushita scroll first. Each scroll has three tasks you need to complete. So altogether there will be six tasks. When you complete a task, you obtain an Alucard Fragment. You need all six Alucard Fragments to finally open this door. Which then you fight a boss for the Cursed Dual Katana. I'm going to start on Tushita Scroll. First one is Doc Legend. This one is pretty easy. All you need to do is speak to three boat dealers around the map. Press next until you see pardon me. There is one out of three done. As easy as that. Nice. There we go. First one done. And we get a Alucard fragment. Time to head back for the second trial. Next is Sense of Duty. This one you just need to wait until pirates raid the castle. You know the one, where they come thinking they will win. Then they get smacked so hard they get, sent to King Legacy. <laughs> Yay that one. Here they come, just defeat these guys. You didn't see that miss. Easy. Now that's complete. And we got another Alucard fragment. Last one is Solness. For this, defeat Big Mom. Then she teleports you to another dimension. You then light all torches there. Are you ready Big Mommy? Huh? It'll be back. If you are using Buddha, I recommend using Sharkman Karate. Because for me, it has the best M1s. So much faster than fighting styles like Godhuman. Just look at these M1s. Big Mommy dead. Now we get teleported to another dimension. Here you light three torches. Each torch you light, NPCs will spawn. Just kill them. Im glitched underground. That's nice.
just teleport up if that happens to you. When all three torches are lit and all NPCs are dead, then Solus is complete. Here is the three torch locations. Is this what entering heaven looks like? Wait this ain't heaven. Anyways we got the third allocate fragment. There we go, the scroll should disappear now, since all trials are done. Now we can do Yama scroll. First one is pain and suffering. For this, it's very easy. We need to go to the place where we obtain Yama and die holding Tushita. Let's head to Hydra Island. Now let them kill you. You don't even need to die, just take damage. But I want this pain and suffering to end. Now we have 4 fragments. Second is Haze of Misery. This one is annoying. You need to go around all the islands and defeat NPCs with a purple dot. I recommend using door fruit, if you have it. You see these NPCs don't have anything, you ignore them. These are the NPCs you kill. This took quite a long time. I'm not too sure how many you need to kill. But just keep killing them until it completes. Done. That took around 20 minutes. One more allocate fragment needed. Last is Fear the Reaper. This one is annoying as hell. This may take a couple of minutes or hours or even days depending on your luck. Let's head to Haunted Castle. So we need to spawn the Soul Reaper aid boss. And to spawn him, we need a Hallow's Essence. Which we can get by speaking to this NPC and spending 50 bones to spin for a random reward. Here is why it's annoying. The Hallow Essence is a legendary item. So it's rare to get, and you can only spin 10 times every 2 hours. And if you don't have bones, you also need to grind them as well. So if you don't get it in the first 10, you are gonna have to wait 2 hours. And even then, it's not guaranteed for you to get it. I don't think so anyways. Welp it's our last spin. We aren't gonna get it. I can't believe that's just happened. On our last spin is crazy. Now I don't have to spend 2 hours waiting. Now that we have the Hallow Essence, we can spawn the boss. Just let him kill you. There we go, this is basically the same as Big Mommy Quest, but you die instead. For some reason it was glitched for me, and it didn't light the torch. Maybe you have to do it in a order. But if this happens to you, just reset and let the reaper kill you again. Last torch actually summons a mini boss. Having Buddha is best for this, I forgot to equip it. And he is dead. Now we have all 6 allocate fragments. The Yama scroll should also disappear now. All that's left is to summon the boss. Let's summon this boss.
it's finally time. Only swords work on this boss. Everything else does no damage. Buddha is the way to go for this. As you can see a load of NPCs spawned, which I'm guessing you have to kill. But as you can see, my screen just went black. I can hear what's going on, but I can't see what's going on. I kept hitting the NPCs, until I got fed up, and I just left the game. When I rejoined I had the cursed dual katana. So there we go, cursed dual katana is officially obtained. I'm happy that we got it, but also sad, since it was very anti-climatic. I wanted to see it pop into my inventory, and on the top of the screen. But it is what it is, now I'ma level it up. Finally mastery 375. Now we can check out the skills. Revolving Ravager, pressed. Revolving Ravager, hold. X, Slayer of Goliath, no charge. Slayer of Goliath, full charge. That range is absolutely ridiculous. Ain't no one escaping this. I don't even need legs. You can be running full speed all I need to do is use this skill. This sword is sick. Now that's finally done. We can end the video here. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Oh yeah. We still have soul guitar to obtain. Alright then. Time to grind for another few couple of hours. Let's see how we obtain soul guitar. So this is what we need. I guess I will AFK then until the full moon comes. Oh my god finally, the light of a full moon peeks through the clouds. When it is night time we can finally begin the quest. There we go, it worked. Now while watching a video on how to get this, he didn't explain it clearly, so I was stuck on this for so long. You need to come to the living zombies, and you need to kill them all at once. Get them all one shot, then use a high damage skill to finish them off. If you do it right, it should be completed. Now we need to do this puzzle at the cemetery. Here is the code for the puzzle. I'm sure you understand this. If not just follow what I click. Easy enough. Now let's go inside the building for the next puzzle. I don't know what just happened, but I guess a new puzzle has started. Let's remember the statues, because we are gonna need it. Yours will be different to mine. So just screenshot your one. Let's head to the basement. This is too easy. What can I say? I'm just too goated. Now we need to match the floor tiles with the color of pipes.
and that's it. That all we need to do. Now we just need all these materials. I have enough bones, but I don't have enough ectoplasm or dark fragments. I guess it's time to farm for them. Let's head to C2, since all the materials we need are dropped from C2 NPCs. While I was asking for the full moon, I was also AFK in C2 on my alt account. So that we can get Dark Fist from chests to spawn Blackbird, since he drops the Dark Fragment. I'm surprised I even thought of that with the lack of brain cells I have remaining. Dark Fist spawns in chests every 4 hours, so since the full moon took 3 hours to arrive, when I get enough ectoplasm, the serve should reach 4 hours. The timing is perfect. Almost there. Two hundred and fifty ectoplasm obtained. All we need now is wait for first of darkness to spawn. The fist should have spawned now. There we go. Time to spawn this noob. You don't even need Buddha, because Blackbird is easy to kill. I remember when he was actually considered strong by everyone. Dark Fragment obtained. I'm so glad this is guaranteed. If it was a chance to drop I would have gone insane. Now we have all we need. We can finally obtain Soul Guitar. Let's craft this. And with that. Soul guitar obtained. Yes! 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 All that's left is to grind mastery. No! 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 <laughs> All skills finally unlocked. Let's check them out. M1, basic ranged attack. Z, Soul Shaker. So far it's not too bad, it's got some insane range. X, El Diablo. That attack actually has lifesteal, so more players slash NPC the more you regen. Which is actually pretty sick. Well then, this will be it for today. A lot of grinding indeed. I think I have lost a good 10 years off my lifespan playing this. But it's all good. We have obtained dual cursed katana, and also soul guitar. I might try to awaken all of the races as well. But I heard you need 20 mirror fragments, which you get from Katekuri, and that's only for one. And we have 6 races. Hey yo, what the f- Yeah, I'm actually gonna die if I do that, but that's gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and see you on the next video.